Hello there, Scorpio, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, I'll be doing your general reading for the second half of August. So this will be good from about August 15th to August 31st. We're going to take a look at the overall energies in your life, and then we'll take a look with the tarot for any details about obstacles or advice Spirit has for you. And if you're enjoying the content that I create, I would really appreciate it if you would consider like, sharing, or subscribing. I really appreciate all your support. Okay, so let's jump into it. We're going to start by taking a look at the animal spirit energy that you have right now. Okay, so you have the buffalo. The buffalo is actually a very spiritual um, type of animal. There are hooves, you know, kind of like turn up the, the earth. So they're a very grounded animal, and yet at the same time, they're very connected to the heavens. So they see, um, it, it's kind of interesting, it's kind of like you may be seeing a situation for, uh, at a spiritual level, the person that you're dealing with may not, but you may be taking a, a, a different heavenly, more heavenly approach to it. So you're kind of grounded in this situation. And it, it could be a romantic situation, family, friends, or it could be a work situation. But it's about you kind of like um, understanding, kind of like walking the fine line between 3D and 5D. Really, um, really powerful. And then on the bottom, we have the hawk. A very uh, another spiritual um, card. Now the hawk is different because the buffalo is on the ground. The hawk is up in the air and sees all, sees it from the spiritual end of things. Um, can help to kind of connect the dots uh, without actually having all the dots. It's kind of <laughs> because you use your intuition to try to fill in the gaps that you don't have in a certain situation. So it could be that you are in a situation right now where you are trying to stay grounded. You are trying to use your intuition to try to um, help you through this. And then with the hawk, you know, being able to see things that others can't see intuitively, you know, using your third eye, um, listening, you know, through your crown chakra about getting information about how to navigate in the 3D world. Um, while also understanding the 5D connection. Okay, so, wow, with the Wisdom Oracle card, you have round and round. Yeah, seeing a pattern in a certain situation or relationship. But the interesting thing is that you may see this pattern coming back around, but this time you understand you're going to be doing it at a higher level. So you may be sitting there going, no, this person's coming back around or the situation's coming back around. I thought I stomped it into the ground it was done, but it's coming back around. But at the same time, you realize that it's coming back around, but you are at a higher spiritual level. And so you can take a look at this pattern from a different perspective, a much higher perspective than you did in the past. Um, and then on the bottom, new life. Yes. So, you know, taking a look at this situation, it's coming back around again, learning the, a, a new lesson from this pattern. Okay. So the pattern keeps repeating until you've learned all the lessons. So you may have learned the previous lessons within this pattern or this with this person, this soulmate, the situation, but now there's another one to learn at a higher level, and it's kind of taking you into a new life. It's not, it's the same person or situation, but it's not the, quite the same lesson because you have kind of graduated to a new level. Okay, conflict, yes. So, you know, this person, the situation, this relationship, there's going to be conflict in it. You're going to say to yourself, here we go again. <laughs> but just keep in mind that, you know, you are at a higher spiritual level. I can't believe this. On the bottom is angels of four directions. You know, your spirit guides are helping you through this situation. Listening to your intuition will help guide you through this situation so that it's not quite at the same level as it has been in the past. Yeah, really... Um, Interesting energy. 
Oh no, those two are sticks. Okay, those to the side. All right, so we're going to take a look at your present energy um, obstacle, advice from spirit, and the outcome if you take the advice. But Scorpio, you always have the choice to follow your free will and do what it is that you'd like to do. Okay, in your present energy, you have nine of swords. Being really anxious up in your head about this situation. You know, it is about you getting more back into your buffalo situation, you know, energy. Um, when you are super anxious about something, right, then the buffalo can trample around on the ground, right, and, and kind of go round and round in circles and get nowhere. So it is about trying to get out of this Nine of Swords energy, your anxiety. You're very anxious about this conflict that has come up. You're trying to perhaps figure it out. But the message that I'm getting here is that it's not about being in your head about this situation, but in your heart. It's about getting back into your heart space. Using the strategies that you have used in the past when this situation or similar situations have come up. Getting back into that buffalo energy. Um, getting back into your hawk energy. You may be trying to go at this in a much different way and it's about going back and using the strategies that you've used in the past that have helped you with this person this relationship or this you know job situation or something using those same kind of strategies but at a higher level understanding that you have graduated okay your obstacle is the ace of pentacles you know you want a new ace of pentacles you want a new you want a new do you have news new life you want a new start this is something new you want a new offer you want a new start you want a new piece of information you want to learn something new um in this situation it's kind of uh, the message that i'm getting is that you want this information but you're not listening to your intuition like down deep inside you know the answer you know how to get this information or learn this um but you're going at it in a different way than you have in the past um it's about using the lessons that you've learned in the past to help you get through this situation this conflict five of wands so Five of Wands is your advice. Um, we're going to clarify all these, but Five of Wands is about recognizing that there is change. Um, and, you know, kind of accepting change in our life. Change, we have to change some things. We have to change, we have to have change in our life in order to grow. And kind of like embracing this change. Like I think that this change is causing a lot of conflict in your life. And, and you're kind of like maybe resisting it. Like you want something different. You don't want this change. You don't like the direction this change is going in. You want something different. You want a new life besides what this conflict is bringing in. But this conflict is bringing something that you do need. Or helping to eliminate something that you, is no longer for your better good. Page of Pentacles. Really interesting because your obstacle is the Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is that you learn what it is that you're supposed to learn. You get the wisdom that you're supposed to get. Knight of Cups. Ooh. Okay, so for some of you, this is a relationship. It could be a romantic relationship. You're kind of up in your head about this, this person. The Knight of Cups is probably one of the sweetest energies. Um, definitely the sweetest night. Somebody that comes in and spills their guts <laughs> of love to you. It's not just an apology. It's about really kind of letting you know just how much they care about you. Yeah, judgment. There's a second chance here. Um, with this person, Queen of Pentacles, they see you as somebody that is independent, financially secure, somebody that, you know, um, 
can, doesn't need them. And it's kind of like almost like you, if you think that this may be a twin flame connection, it's kind of like you may have been the chaser at one time and you put the brakes on that and you've gone and you've worked on yourself and now this person is coming around again and it's like, oh no, here we go, round and round. And it's causing you a lot of anxiety about this situation. But they want a fresh start with you. They want to be the king of pentacles. Wow, with the four, with the four of wands. They want to be your king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is, you know, the, the truly committed king, the one that isn't going anywhere, wants to be with you for all time. And so there could be a situation within a romantic connection that you have or with somebody that you're separated from and they are going to come in and, you know, tell you exactly like that they're not going anywhere that they love you and that they're not going anywhere. Um, they want a second chance with you. I mean, this is, you know, definitely them coming in. Now, uh, just glancing at the bottom is the tower. This is going to happen like today, this week, um, very soon. It could be, you could be even, um, Scorpio, I'm going to say, because you have the buffalo and the hawk, you could be even feeling this situation coming on. Like, intuitively, you may be knowing that this person is about to knock on your door or call you or something. And you're like, oh, like, what do I do? What do I do? And if you're feeling that way, you know, I think you're you're kind of like focusing maybe on the conflict that you've had with this person in the past. But you have to also realize that. You have to, in order for this relationship to go to the next level, something big has to change. Like you have to go through this conflict. You have to have this discussion with this person or, um, you know, uh, um, putting it out to your angels, to your spirit guides. Like you have, something big has to happen in order for it to go to the next level. And you know that, like intuitively, I think you know that Scorpio. And you are kind of like up in your head about it. Like, uh, like what am I going to do about this situation? Or what am I going to do when this person comes back around? Yeah, we have the five of cups, the four of pentacles, the hermit. Ten of cups on the bottom. So, you know, this is your soul saying, yes, this is somebody you're supposed to be with. Somebody that you are supposed to have this long-term commitment with. Somebody that's supposed to be there with you, you know, kind of, and it doesn't matter what, um, you know, what gender you, uh, what gender or what, you know, your love relationship, what kind of love relationship you want. But the Ten of Cups is the happy family card. Like you want to have a happy family with this person, whatever that means. Um, yeah, you're up in your head. You're not really sure. Feeling very um, alone. We have the Hermit. And the Five of Cups, feeling almost abandoned, very alone in this situation, not knowing. It's almost like you don't know what they're doing, and yet at the same time you do. Um, and you're just holding on. You know, you could be holding on to your own money. You could be concerned about money, but we're holding on to your own fears. Like you're, you're embracing almost too much the energy of these fears. Instead of stepping into this um, feeling of love. Okay, so let's take a look at this Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is your obstacle. It's, it's the new thing that you want to learn or a new piece of information or new offer. Oh, my goodness. Empress is on the bottom. <clears throat> Yeah, you definitely want, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles under there. You want to step into your Empress energy. You want to, um, you want a fresh start with this person. Do we not have new life? Yeah, you want a fresh start with this person. With the Empress energy, you may really, you know, we also had the Ten of Cups. You may really want to be like a mother 
with this person, you know, like help birth, you know, uh, their children, you know, I mean, build your family with them in that type of energy. Um, or you may see them as that. And, you know, you're, you're kind of like working away at this, hoping, wishing, um, wanting to work on this, uh, on this relationship, King of Pentacles, this could be another, um, water sign. So Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, you want this long-term commitment. I mean, you want this situation in your life. You're just trying to, you're figuring, you're trying to get the information about how to bring this into fruition. Or you're trying to learn information about them. You want to know, like, when are they going to come in? You know, when are they, when are we, when am I going to get my second chance with this person? I think you can feel that you're going to have a second chance. And yet at the same time, they're not showing up. That could be causing some of your conflict. It's definitely causing your anxiety, right? You're kind of like, okay, like when are they going to come? Like I know we're, we're going to have a conversation. I know that we're supposed to be together. Like when are they going to show up? So what about this five of wands? Three of pentacles, death, and queen of swords with magician on the bottom. You're trying to manifest this. The other person could be too. <clears throat> Chariot. Like you want this to come in quickly. Seven of Swords is here too. Uh, oh, with the Knight of Cups. You could be concerned that this Knight of Cups is, you could almost be self-sabotaging. Um, it's kind of like you really, really want this with the Magician, right? You really, really want this but you just don't think it's going to happen. So you're like not really putting it out into the universe. You know, you know that there's a fresh start here. King of Pentacles again. Like you know that this person is going to come in. You know that this situation it could work out. Um, you want to work on it. You want to transform this. This is your energy too. Um, you want to transform this connection. You know there's a lot of conflict here, but you want to change that conflict. You want to have clarity in this situation. You want to know where this relationship is going to go and how to transform it. It's like you really, really want it, but you just don't know how to get there how to work on it, how to get it to come into fruition. You're so, um, I think you're focusing on that so much instead of getting really into your heart space, I would say. Like you're trying to think it out instead of being in your intuition in your heart space, um, I would say. Uh, I'm also um, getting the message to surrender it to your angels or spirit guides. Say, okay, if this is meant to be, I'm going to leave it up to you. Like, put it out there. I'd like a fresh start with this person. I want to start a new life with this person. But <clears throat> I don't know. I can't make it happen. And you can't, Scorpio, right? You can only try to manifest it. You can manifest it. You can put it out there that that's what you really want. But at the same time, it's kind of like going into your higher knowing of all I can do is surrender to this journey. I think you're frustrated. I get this sense of frustration. Like, why isn't this happening? Hmm. And I think you're kind of just blocking it yourself. Let's see. Ten of Swords. Oh, Devil. King of Wands. Queen of Cups on the bottom. Yeah, you're really kind of almost attached to the ending of this relationship. You're, you're focusing on the ending, on um, the pain, on, on uh, perhaps like what this person did. Um, and you're, you're focusing on it so much that you, you're kind of up in your head and you have a conflict here. Like, I, I do feel like somebody has really hurt you. The Ten of Swords is a really 
you know, stab you in the back type of pain. And it's like not just one, there's 10 swords here, right? And it's the end. But the other thing you have to remember with the Ten of Swords is that in the traditional tarot, the sun is in the horizon. It's like, okay, you've come to the end of this and now it's time to let go. You're almost detached. It's almost like you're, you're defining yourself because of the ending of this relationship. And um, it's about stepping into your own power beating the beating your own drum saying okay this did not work out or this did not work out for now and now I'm going to go in a new direction and it's almost as if I think that when you go in a new direction and you really listen to your intuition it's almost like this person comes back uh, queen of cups two of pentacles ace of wands six of cups it's not until you get into your loving yourself. The Queen of Cups is loving yourself, nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, and getting into your intuition and not into your ego. I think for some of you, this situation was so hard that, you know, when that happens, we just kind of get in our heads. You could have gotten in your head about it, and now you're just kind of like defining your entire life by this, the ending of this. So it's kind of like, you know, if you um, broke up from this person or you got divorced from this person, like, you know, I don't know, have you ever met anybody and, you know, the first thing out of their mouth is, oh, yes, I'm divorced, you know. Um, it's kind of like, you know, they could say I'm single, but they define themselves by the divorce, which means, hey, the divorce is part of me. Um, and it could be that you're kind of like, I'm not saying that's you, Scorpio, but you could be defining yourself by the situation instead of standing in your own power, not letting this ending power you um, and hold you back. Instead, kind of going in your own direction, loving yourself, recognizing just how wonderful you are, you know, um, I think that that is part of what you're learning here is your own value. Like not allowing this situation to define you, not allowing what this person did to define you. Really um, uh, a true spiritual lesson. And it is about, you know, you may, you may be part of this might be, you may be, mulling this over and over again because you're seeing this pattern either with this person over and over again and you're kind of like almost to the point I feel like you just need to have compassion for yourself Scorpio recognizing that you've done the best you can in this situation and then allowing it to just giving it up to your to your angels to your spirit guides I've done all I can do. And I really feel like you have learned the lesson that you needed to learn in this situation. Now it's about kind of letting go of the pain of this situation, if that makes sense. Um, I do feel like with the buffalo, the round and round, and the hawk, you have learned your lesson. You're at a much higher level than perhaps this person is. Um, you know, wanting to move on to something else. You know, this page of pentacles could just be the learning that it's time to move on. Getting on top of this. Seven of swords again. Um, and four of swords. Healing on the bottom. I would say that, you know, you've had the seven of swords a couple of times. And it could be that you're moving away from this betrayal. But I think you're really moving away from this Ten of Swords energy, from this ending. You want to move away. You want to get on top of it. You want to no longer focus on the betrayal, the sneaking away, the action of this person. Um, and instead, you want to go and learn more about you, more about, you know, there's a, a dragonfly here, you know, which is a much like the death card. You want Okay, this is over. This is done. I'm, I'm out of here. I'm going to go in a new direction. I'm going to start a new life for myself. And I'm not even going to think about that person or that situation ever again. Okay, 
we know that won't happen. <laughs> but it's kind of like stepping into that energy of that. Okay, let's see. Um, because we do have like this, uh, I'm going to pull two cards. Uh, let's pull one for the devil card. Let's see what it is that you're really attached to. And then the one thing that you really need to transform, because I think you are trying to transform. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So for a lot of you, this is a twin flame connection. You are attached to this person. This is a hard ending because you are connected at the soul. And you just know it. And, and I think for a lot of you, you know there's going to be another round with this person. Part of the twin flame path. And if you don't know a lot about the twin flame path, you know, there's a lot of stuff on YouTube or you could just, you know, do an internet search. But part of the twin flame path is that you do have to separate. You do have to learn your own lessons. You do have to ascend on your own and then you can come back together. And it could be, you know, that part of it is that you understand that at some time you are going to be with this person again. And it's really hard. It's hard to move on and start building your own life when you know at some point in the future you're going to be with this person again. It's hard. It's hard to break those energy cords. It's, it's hard to move on. It's hard to... Um, but that is part of my... My guides are telling me that is part of this lesson is understanding that you do have to go in your own direction and become your own Queen of Pentacles. Become the, the Empress. You know, um, step into that energy and before this person can come back in yeah so you want to transform what you're trying to transform is the wheel of fortune you want that wheel to turn you want the blessings to come in you're tired of feeling left out in the cold you're trying to bring in the six of cups again and you know if you have done the work if you feel like you're at the point where you really are transformed and you have stepped into your own power, then it could be that this person is coming back very soon. I mean, we do have some cards on the table that show that. But at the same time, part of it is this person can't come back until you have kind of gotten into that independent energy. Oh my I can't remember. Somebody else, may have been Libra, had a true tr twin flame reading. You know, like, I mean, it came out. It wasn't like I was trying to do one. It just came out. So you may be dealing with a Libra. You know, the part of the twin flame journey is just you know, recognizing what you don't like in the other person is also what you don't like in yourself. That's the lessons that you have to learn. You have to go work on. You have to, you know, the, the shadow work that you have to do. Oh, my goodness. So here's your cosmic journey. And it's your great wave awaits. Yeah, I think you know that. I think you do have to, you know, for some of you, Cut away what is no longer needed for you. And I would say that you have to cut away this energy. You have to, before the twins can come back in, you have to completely cut them out of your life. And energetically too. Like, you have to get to the point where you wake up and you don't even think about them. And it's really hard. <laughs> and once you get to that point, once your energy, you pull back your energy, guess what? They come wanting to run back in. Um, really interesting. Well, Scorpio, I do wish you, um, I'm going to pull a lover's oracle card for you here. But it is, it, it is uh, not a twin flame journey. It is not easy. It really isn't. It, it is on the spiritual path, which is kind of interesting because you have the buffalo and the hawk, both extremely spiritual animals. Um, so I'm not surprised that you could be in a twin flame connection. Okay. 
Okay, and Scorpio, if you have enjoyed this reading or resonate with the message, I would really appreciate it if you would share, like, or subscribe. Okay, so here's the artwork on your lover's oracle. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And that is perfect because you do have all this conflict. But part of it is that you are going to get something else in return. And I'm looking for the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, here it is. Yeah. And your great wave awaits. It's about doing the work on your spiritual path. And then because of that, this person may not yet come in. But there's going to be other blessings um, coming in for you. Because you are doing the work, the universe does give you those little bit of tidbits, those tidbits here and there to keep you going, to keep you um, in the game as you're learning these soul lessons. And so there is something beautiful on your path very soon, like right around the corner. Okay, Scorpio, I am going to leave it there. I wish you lots of love and light in this situation and all your situations. Bye for now.